Today our chefs will impress you with gigantic famous snacks recipes. Are you ready for some ambitious culinary vibes? Let's do this! KFC is all about chicken, so we'll need meat, a lot of meat. We're going big, so let's use turkey meat instead. Cut turkey filet into even slices. For the marinade, squeeze two oranges. Add an ounce of salt. Pour in two and a half ounces of soy sauce and stir till the salt dissolves. And here's the secret of juicy meat. Use a syringe to inject marinade into the meat. This way the turkey will retain its juiciness after cooking. Now do the same trick with 12 pounds of turkey legs and wings. Bake the meat on both sides at 480 degrees using a fan oven for 30 minutes each. For the breading, we mix 3 pounds of corn and wheat flour each. Smoked paprika and ground cayenne pepper. Coat the turkey in the breading and then dip it in water. Do it once again. There's no such thing as too much meat. Move on to frying. Do it in a deep pan, where you can fit in 14 pounds of vegetable oil. When the turkey is golden brown, start cooking sweet chili sauce. First off, take canned peeled tomatoes. Then peel two apples and squeeze juice from one orange. Chop 3 quarters of an ounce of chili pepper and process it in a blender along with apples. Add 3 quarters of an ounce of salt to it, 1 and 3 quarter ounces of soy sauce, 1 ounce of honey, a quarter ounce of paprika, canned tomatoes, and a quarter ounce of dried tomatoes. Once it's all processed, bring it to a boil. Add fresh apple juice and sugar. Cook for around 20 minutes. This will enhance the flavors. As we want the snack to evoke positive emotions, we create suitable decorations. We'll show you how to turn a regular metal bucket into the signature bucket with a logo.
Once you're done doing that, you'll have 30 pounds of pure homemade meaty happiness. Yum! Living a dream. Are you still in a mood for some snacks? Because maxi chips are next up, and they're not just your regular potato chips, these are Pringles. In order to make them, we boil clean, unpeeled potatoes. For a large serving that we decided to cook, we'll need 13 pounds. Peel cooked potatoes and process them in a blender to make a puree. Don't forget to add 10 eggs. We'll be using a brand new construction mixer to mix it well. There's nothing like construction tools to help you cook big dishes. Now mix in three pounds of flour. Add half a cup of salt, paprika, vegetable oil, and turmeric. Vegetable oil will make the dough more flexible and less sticky. Now cut a ball from the dough. So it's about 7 ounces. Knead it with your hands to get rid of air bubbles. Grate cheese right into the dough and knead it again. This way you can feel the cheese flavor in each crunchy chip. Once you rolled out the dough, cut out an oval. Heat some oil in a pan and before you deep fry the chip, poke it with a fork a bit. Fry the chips on both sides. Six ounces sounds like a child's play, but a pack that weighs nine pounds is a challenge for the bravest. And of course, the friendliest. Because no man alone can eat this much chips without friends.